Estrogen is a hormone which can affect cells both by binding to receptors which then move to the nucleus and affect the expression of genes and also binding to receptors on the cell membrane, a G-protein coupled receptor, and causing instantaneous changes. Estrogen not only affects the tissues of the reproductive system, but also those of the skeletal system, affecting osteoporosis and, say, the shape of the pelvic bones. Uh, estrogen affects uh, areas of the brain, and there are small differences between uh, regions of male and female brains. Also, estrogen affects the immune system. And thus, there can be gender differences in disease susceptibility and some of the functioning of the immune system. Neutrophils not only express the alpha and beta estrogen receptors, but they also express the G protein coupled receptor, which reacts to estrogen. This G protein coupled receptor affects neutrophil gene expression, lifespan, and reactivity. And neutrophil numbers in general increase as estrogen levels increase, and neutrophil numbers will decrease after menopause when estrogen levels drop. Eosinophils express the nuclear estrogen uh, receptors, and they also express the G-protein coupled receptor on the cell membrane. Estrogen can affect the numbers of eosinophils and increases their migration to tissues. Mast cells and basophils express alpha estrogen receptors. Mast cells also express the G protein coupled receptor which responds to estrogen. And estrogen can increase the degranulation of both basophils and mast cells which promotes inflammation. Monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells express both alpha and beta estrogen receptors. Estrogen receptor alpha activity regulates the development and activity of the multiple lineages of dendritic cells, such as plasmacytoid dendritic cells and others, and can promote their roles in autoimmunity. Estrogen can alter the ratio of macrophages forming osteoclasts, and this then has a role in osteoporosis as estrogen is lost after menopause. Estrogen receptors are expressed in helper T lymphocytes, cytotoxic T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, and NK cells. The receptors can be expressed in different proportions. Estrogen receptor alpha is predominant in the T lymphocytes, especially the T helper lymphocytes, while the estrogen receptor beta is predominant in the B lymphocytes. Estrogen signaling can affect the cell number of lymphocytes, their activity, and then the balance of Th1 and Th2 uh, cells, uh, which helps to regulate our responses to infection versus uh, our predisposition to inflammation and autoimmunity. Many have noted the gender differences in disease incidence and the physiology of the immune system. Men are more susceptible to infectious diseases, such as influenza. When giving vaccines, it requires a greater dose for a man to have the same immunity as a woman on average has with a smaller dose. Most of the deaths from coronavirus were male. Men were more likely to be negatively affected by coronavirus. Women, in contrast, make up the majority of those who suffer from some inflammatory disorders such as asthma or the majority of those who have autoimmune disorders like lupus. Menopause can change disease prevalence in older women so as their estrogen levels drop uh, their immune function uh, can change. Women compose the majority of those who suffer from long COVID, uh, the prevalence of coronavirus as uh, symptoms uh, long after the infection has passed.